What's important to me about Lucky Brand product or all product? You can't try too hard. I think the best things in life are simple. And we're sort of purists in, in, when it comes to blue jeans, so we sort of like things to be just, just right and less is always more. When we think about the artisanship of what we do, and we talk about how we, we come about denim and how we create it, I, I think of Jean and Barry when they started their own store in the 70s, and all the blue jeans came from China in a plastic bag, and they, they had never been washed. And Jean and Barry sat around going, wouldn't it be cool if these jeans were faded? And they got in their car with a, a bag of quarters and a couple of buckets of bleach and went to the laundromat and bleached their jeans before anybody had ever thought to do that. And that to me is sort of the epitome of why we do what we do today. I'm just going to say the process also is long and tedious and hard. I mean, people here that sweat the details, pattern makers, everything. I mean, every denim that comes in has to be cut and tested for shrinkage. Fit models have to come and try the jeans on. If the fit's not right, has to go back to a pattern maker. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, it's, it's not just buying some denim and cutting it like we were saying before a cookie cutter. There's a lot that goes into it. Not only that, but we were making jeans before jeans were ever washed. So you used to get the denim, cut it, sew it, and ship it. And then when they started washing jeans, they were shading in different bundles and this and that. And together with the contractors, we figured out a way to do away with all of that. So anybody that's starting out in the jean business now goes to a shop, they cut the stuff, and that's the way it's all done. And they didn't have a learning curve. We had a learning curve. Jean and Barry always talked about the neighborhood blue jean store. A lot of the blue jeans are done right around the corner. The, the designers that work on denim, they, they sit and they hand rub their own jeans and they come up with their own washes on their own. It's very small town. You don't want a customer to look at something and give them a reason not to buy it. So when you're talking about a basic five pocket jean, it should be you know quality first and it should obviously fit and the wash should be great and just not overdone. We were at a Rolling Stones concert years back and there was a guy standing in front of us is wearing our jeans and they were sort of ripped out right at the pocket from probably a little too much wear and, and we kind of just started talking. The guy said, hey, you know, your jeans are ripped. He said, yeah, it was, Gene said, hey, we'll get you another pair. So we sent him a pair and We'll, we'll get letters from people, so we love doing that kind of stuff. We grew up going to concerts, listening to music, just like, I mean, people do today. You know, music is, was part of our life, as, you know, blue jeans are a part of our life, and they sort of go hand in hand. 